Great. So now we have the recording on. So warmly welcome. So this is the first webinar by Nordic Bang, and the goal is with this to to map this kind of an angel network activity and ecosystem in the Nordics and Baltics. And, and for this session, the first one, we have the the Finnish Business Angel Network joining the session, and together with me we, we have the audience. And and from FIBA we have Reda Wasinius, uh, managing director, and Janne Ormalainen, the chairman and active business angel from Finland. Hello, hello, Reda. Janne, maybe a quick introduction. Hello there, I'm Radar Vasenius. I've been the Managing Director of uh, FIBAN since the end of 2017. And I've been working for the past 10 years in the startup ecosystem. And I'm really glad now to be helping our Finnish business angels become increasingly su successful in their investments. Very good. Nice to have you on board. Janne? Hi, I'm Janne, uh, the chairman of the, the FIBAN uh, uh, network. I'm an active uh, business angel myself, um, um, have a current portfolio of 12 companies and um, actively looking for new investments as well. Uh, since I was, uh, I was approved as the, uh, the, the first uh, uh, two uh, participants into the uh, European angel uh, fund that started in, in Finland. So I have some funds now to, uh, uh, to invest uh, into the, uh, uh, into the, the startup uh, ecosystem and, uh, and so forth. But uh, I have been uh, uh, active angel for a number of years in the, in the FIBA network. And, uh, and before that, I uh, have been uh, a serial entrepreneur, still am a serial entrepreneur, and, um, and also have been working in the corporate uh, a world uh, for a number of years before that. Very good. No magical word of Nokia at this point, but I guess that includes every person's history here in the Finnish ecosystem. At least once or twice. <laughs> Absolutely. Great. So, so well, what a great opportunity having this post Nokia ecosystem of a of, of very active angel and startup ecosystem in Finland. So, so great times uh, going on and, and ahead, could we say. So good. Uh, before uh, doing the closer with FIBAN, so so quickly, I'll just uh, highlight uh, the the activity of what we've done with uh, Nordic Band. So what what this is all about. So we have now. You should see the screen of of Nordic Band slideshow, and as the the goal is to introduce uh, covering. Uh, Nordic Band as well is the not-for-profit association uh, covering 11 angel networks in the Nordic Baltics. FIMAN is now the first one to be done webinar with uh, and, and representing the Finnish ecosystem. Altogether, we have about 1,700 visible angels in the Nordic Baltic angel groups. And uh, maybe something uh, specific about the angel network ecosystem. So we have about 25 more or less visible angel groups and networks. And, and the goal, of course, is to tighten up and, and, and uh, increase the cooperation what comes to cross-board activity. As we know, the culture supports cross-border investing, what comes to the uh, Nordic Baltics, the, the, the culture and the technology. And now it's the only thing to do for Nordic Band is to focus on this angel dating. So more we have individuals know each other, more we will have these kind of elite investors increased opportunities for, for cross-border investments. So this shortly about Nordic Band, you can find uh, information on nordicband.net as well. But now to the main topic of, of uh, today is, of course, uh, having um, uh, FIBAN presenting their activity. And if, Reda, you could start your screen sharing with, if I understood, you have some slides there. And... Uh, You should have the green button there and share screen. And for those hopping on, great. The screen is starting now and all good. So you can just click full screen and it should allow us to have a look. Can you see that? Uh, now it just uh, moved. It was there for a little while, but now if you can return it somehow, if you just click the share screen. Just say hi, Christine here. Hello, Christine. Warmly welcome. Just so starting with the full feedback. screen now. Can you see the full screen? Uh, not yet. We see you, so you have to click the share screen one more. Okay. Very good. I'll do that. And then you choose if it's PowerPoint, then just choose PowerPoint. Good. Excellent. Now it's starting again. 
great, this is good enough, so feel free to just use that or the full screen, that's excellent. So it's all yours, so if you could, the topics we're gonna to discuss is if, if Asiana will have limited time available to join us a half an hour, maybe describe a little bit of, of your, how joining in as an angel in Finland, how it is, how you see the ecosystem, and maybe together with rate and ba balance and how, how we have the, the activity, and then again, uh, a fluent waltz together with Radar and Janet. You choose, so uh, stage yeah. is yours. Uh, overall, if we look at, at FIBA and how it's evolved during the past seven years, when Klaus Mikko was uh, uh, joining the others as to founding it and, and, and the first person actually work, working for FIBA uh, seven years ago, um, Klaus Mikko, my predecessor, Jan uh, Dirik Okar Blum, uh, and others who have been working on FIBA have managed to grow the organization from uh, 20 founders to 650 approved members currently. Uh, if we just look roughly at, at some other numbers uh, to begin with, uh, people are currently paying uh, 250 euros uh, to join and then 340 euros annually as a membership fee. Um, besides the, the 650 uh, individuals who are actual uh, private investors, we also have uh, companies uh, non-governmental and governmental organizations um, as our uh, partner members and depending on their size they pay either 2,500, 6,000 or 12,500 euros per year to, to, to be a partner of, of, of FIBAN. So all of this amounts to an annual budget of, of roughly 420,000 euros um, coming from, from, from membership fees. So this is the, the, the overall picture. If we look at what uh, we're, we're providing uh, our members, you can uh, roughly divide it into three different kinds of categories. We have obviously deal flow and networking and matchmaking clearly as the number one thing going on. Um, we are annually uh, processing hundreds of startups who come to our website, fiban.org slash submit and uh, we have a deal from manager Helleke Heikinen was doing this very very effectively for for three years uh, she moved down to Berlin so our new deal flow manager is Amel Gailey who joined us now on August 1st and that is a, a major portion of our operations clearly helping business angel members becoming um, uh, increasingly successful investors by doing it together with others, finding good deals, uh, getting help in the process of, of matchmaking and negotiations, uh, etc. The second thing which obviously directly supports this uh, are our trainings. We uh, help uh, our members become increasingly skillful investors. Some of course have knowledge and understanding obviously of investing already from their times as entrepreneurs or or depending on the other background but it's very clear that for the past few years a key cornerstone in our operations has been the training it's the business angel academy as it's called which by the way is going online now in september with and that means that you will also have access to our trainings uh, online both video and other materials so, so that will be a very interesting new development. Besides these two uh, main activities, we're also working obviously on public relations um, towards journalists, uh, media, the general public, but also to some extent uh, towards politicians, decision makers and, and, and government uh, employees in order to support the views of, of FIBAN uh, particularly in Finland, uh, next spring in 2019, we have uh, again uh, parliamentary elections coming up. So, so it's one of the things that we we want to be, be be looking at clearly how to how to make sure that certain important topics are being being covered. But again, to emphasize in this introduction of Fiban, this is a minor activity. Uh, mostly, our activities is really about our deal flow matchmaking investments and then trainings and events supporting uh, those uh, core activities that's clear very good okay just as a minor note uh, you mentioned the trainings will be available online as well so is that something for your charge behind a paywall how does it work for outsiders for example in the body baltics 
currently our members are, are paying uh, 80 euros for for a one day morning until uh, until evening uh, um, training that sounds, session that's very very cheap uh, it, it is but but they, they, it's part of our services non non profit services outsiders pay 160 euros for for such a day which is very right. expensive inexpensive as well which is covered expenses uh, going online uh, these sessions will be half of that 40 euros per, per one uh, one day session package to be uh, consumed uh, online or if you pay 80 euros you can get the one entire year uh, an annual subscription to any and all trainings that are uh, stored on our servers so so we, we really want to support the ecosystem and be happy to to help uh, uh, business angels in neighboring countries as well understand the process of, of screening due diligence how to how to work, collaborate with the startup team with syndication etc other useful topics great sounds like a good service ahead yeah we're quite proud of that i right. guess the uh sort of a couple of words about the uh, the future how i see myself the uh the future of of Fiban, uh, serving its uh, its members obviously Fiban has become quite a big uh, network uh, with over 600 members so that means that uh, uh, they are very different kind of angels uh, in the FIBAN network and obviously we need to be uh, uh, looking at uh, how we best serve the different needs of our our members um, the, the sort of one important thing is uh, is for us to, uh, to look at how we make uh, angel investing easy because uh, obviously a lot of our members are telling us that uh, you know they would have uh, money to invest, they would have interest to invest, but perhaps don't have time and uh, and uh, you know uh, the possibility to uh, to participate into all of the activities uh, related to investing. So so that is one of the key things that we are looking at that how we can actually improve or or make easier. Uh, angel investing uh, uh, as part of the syndicates, for example, and um, and obviously uh, the other thing is that uh, the world is changing around us very fast. So uh, the Finnish market is maturing, um, the international market is, uh, or the cross border market is is developing very fast. You know, the Finnish angels are looking for investment uh, possibilities around uh, northern Europe. Um, and also elsewhere, and and the same applies uh, to companies. That a lot of companies from uh, uh, the Nordics uh, and the Baltics are looking for investments in Finland, and and that's obviously something which uh, which we want to make sure that uh, that we support. And uh, and obviously Nordic Pan is is a great initiative uh, in in all of that. Very good. Okay, that sounds good. And and, and just so so, but uh, you you would love to hear some more uh, views on your your role as the angel as well, and your views on the in the, on the individual individual level as well. But you you just uh, calculate the time what you have left, so we we get the best out of your your perspectives on that sense. But feel free to continue. We have a question from Christine here in the uh, chat about the the six hundred plus angel members you have. Do you divide them somehow? Are they divided in groups or or something? Segmentation is actually going on. Uh, our next uh, uh, membership survey is going out in two weeks' time. And based on that, we will once again make an increasingly precise division into various categories or segments, if you will. Um, roughly speaking, currently we're looking at four different segments. We have uh, newcomers who are barely uh, drying their, their uh, angel wings, so to speak, and uh, they obviously need to be taken care of with certain kinds of uh, services and, and events and welcoming and onboarding. So they have very specific needs. Uh, beyond them, we have uh, the largest group uh, to whom we mainly uh, provide services and events. In other words, the active business angels who have already done it for, for a number of years, anywhere from one to two, three, four, five, six, seven, or even longer, um, for years or even for longer. And, and they, they uh, mainly need the deal flow networking, matchmaking uh, services 
um, obviously there are some differences within that group as well but but roughly speaking with our resources we we provide them with certain kind of services whereby we help obviously uh, people who have been investing for a shorter time to really gain lots of learnings from the people who are more experienced uh, besides these uh, newcomers and and then the, the really active slightly more experienced angels we also have people who are inactive there are a number of reasons as we all can understand in some cases people have uh, become frankly slightly disillusioned uh, they might have run out of money there might be personal reasons or they just simply have their portfolio full right now and and they want to really properly professionally focus fully on what they have uh, in front of them in the portfolio take care of those companies before they, they take on new ones and they obviously then uh, are, are in a sort of in a category themselves because uh, we want to keep them as members and provide them value despite the fact that they are right now not actively investing and finally the fourth group besides the newcomers the active ones the passive ones the fourth group is is what we are calling frankly super angels this is obviously a term which is being used in the in the industry um, uh, as we as we know it's it's not always something that you would use necessarily publicly and if you ask a person are you a super angel uh, g getting an answer from from that person is is, is 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 not not easy so so it's a sort of a delicate category part of our categorization but a very very important one because they work obviously as inspiring examples uh, we want to provide them some value despite the fact that they are very experienced and we we also want them to, to feel at home and and and, and uh, very grateful whenever they uh, see fit to to give their time and expertise to 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 the other members so this is our rough rough uh, segmentation there might be some variation in it uh, during the, the coming years, but but basically this is it. Very good. Maybe at this time, uh, spoke we could ask Janne that uh, how you position yourself. Uh, do you consider yourself as the super angel level or, or still an active? And how do you see those people you meet in Feeban slash Finland around? So if you could just like your, your like gut feeling experience, how are the angels and, and, and compare that to the internationals? Wasn't it uh, just, uh, you know, mentioned by Radar that uh, nobody uh, says that they are super angels. So, you know, that's uh, that's how it is. But uh, <clears throat> no, I mean, I consider myself as uh, as an active lead angel. Um, you know, if, if I'm a, a member of a syndicate, I like to take a lead position. They are lead uh, investor position uh, often in uh, in these cases. Uh, and uh, and sort of be driving the uh, the case uh, uh, also for the other angels. Now um, that's me. Uh, not anybody. Not everybody likes that kind of uh, you know workload. I I personally like to do proper due diligence when I'm investing, and uh, and that's sort of like a natural way of of doing it. Now, having said that, I think. Uh, uh, the the angel sort of a community, if you like, uh, in Finland, uh, I would say is not probably very different from uh, uh, from other countries. Obviously, um, um, take a more mature uh, angel market like the U.S. I would say that uh, there the uh, the um, the angels are more often investing through funds. Um, or, or organized kind of uh, systems, as opposed to where we uh, typically at the moment invest is uh, is you know as syndicates direct investments. Um, so so that's a, that's a big difference uh, to to a more mature market. Um, whereas uh, obviously Finland uh, as as an angel market is also maturing, and I think that that's also becoming more and more as a topic that uh, that angels. Uh, start to invest through different kinds of vehicles, Very but uh, but that's I see as a, as a future, anyways. Maybe uh, as a, because you use the term lead investor and syndicates, and and there's a feedback like in Scandinavia, 
like in Norway, it said that it, there's not that much used in the same form. So, so as you said, there are more structural investments like angel level mm-hmm. funds in the US and, and Scandinavia already, but in Finland. So what is a syndicate and what is the lead angel role just from your perspective? So uh, syndicate, uh, the way we, we uh, define syndicate uh, in, uh, in Fiban or in, in Finland is, is more as a group of angels investing together uh, to a particular company. And are they, um, yeah. are they, do they know each other or is it more like, uh, how is it because in Scandinavia we typically see five best friends always investing together. How are those syndicates? Well, I mean, I, I think we, we obviously have that as well, but I think um, quite often it is so that, uh, that for example, in the Fiban circles, uh, there are a group of interested people, uh, people interested in investing to a particular company and they, uh, they form a syndicate. Um, and and don't necessarily have uh, prior investments together. So so we have I think we have done enormously good job in uh, in sort of uh, nurturing the syndicate creation in uh, in the Fiban circles, and uh, and that's uh, it's it's very beneficial of course for the ecosystem. Now, what's the uh, the role? What's the what's the lead angel? The lead angel typically in a syndicate is that puts the um, the terms together, um, leads the uh, the creation of due diligence and so forth. So, kind of drives the uh, the deal through uh, for the other syndicate members. Okay, so and um, if I understand, so so uh, and as a technical structure, what is a syndicate? Is that just a uh, some form is it a SPV or what is a syndicate as a technical uh, tool? Good question. Uh, this is uh, without going into into like a lengthy discussion on this one. Um, most often in um, again in uh, in the Fiban uh, network, a syndicate would actually be a very loose, um, you know group uh, so so in that sense uh, everybody would actually invest uh, themselves through their own investment companies or personally into the company so they would all appear in the uh, um, uh, cap table as separate entities and uh, and uh, then you know typically the lead angel would uh, take care of the, the main management of the investment uh, uh, for the coming years in the, in the future okay now Having said that, there are many other structures that are used. So um, it can also happen that uh, the syndicate forms uh, uh, a vehicle, uh, a company, an investment uh, vehicle that uh, that then uh, uh, appears as a one entity in the cap table and then is owned by the um, the members of the syndicate. But I would say that that's quite still quite rare in uh, in the Fiban circles. Okay, but it's just from an entrepreneur's perspective who might be interested in Finnish angels. So, but there is a, a likeliness of having a group, but the group is not like 10 individuals, it's one voice in that sense. So that syndicate is structured so that there's only one chef controlling that group. So, because it might sound a little tricky having too many angels involved, but with this structure, it seems more clear. And, and in Finland, if I understood, it's, it's a limited holding company or, or something that is used right. as, as yeah. making it clear for the cap table and, and then again easier for the next level investors. Excellent. Yes. Good. Thank you for, for that clearance. So, of course, there are a lot of questions related to syndicates and lead angels like compensating and lead angels, right. but maybe Radar and, and you, you can uh, direct the discussion uh, what you would like to highlight. Well, I think if you look at the overall numbers, uh, besides the, the, the services that we have uh, which are, are visible on our, our website as well. We, we have a lot of services in these three categories. Uh, looking at what has actually been accomplished so far, our uh, members uh, during the past uh, seven years have uh, been investing a total of slightly more than 200 million euros into um, more than 1,000 startup companies. The, the number of companies we, we surely know of are closely actually soon to 1,500 companies uh, annually. It, it amounts about 300 plus companies uh, currently. So 300 plus companies uh, annually being being invested into. Uh, last year, uh, our our members invested a total of 26, 27 
close to 27 million uh, euros. And if you look at the activity, uh, there are lots of numbers here, but I, I, I think it's, it's a, a, a key number here is, is 20,000 euros. That's the median investment per investor per round. So looking at all the statistics, the most typical, the middle, middle uh, uh, value there is 20,000. The average, if you just add them all up and divide them by the number of individual investors, the average is 100,000 euros. But that uh, statistical figure in this discussion is, is, is not the most relevant one because there are obviously some uh, very, very large individual investments which skew the number upwards. So the mathematical average is 100,000, but the median, which we mostly talk about, um, is 20,000. So that, that's, that's what you could say a typical Finnish business angel typically invests in, more or, more or less. There are other numbers here, as you can, uh, as you can see, and um, our members... Uh, uh, on an average, make one to two startup investments a year. Some are, of course, passive, uh, and and some make make a lot more. But but one or two is is fair to fair to fair to say. Maybe, so, maybe a question, if yeah. if if you may, yeah, that that's, that's interesting numbers, uh, and maybe from um, Janne's perspective again, as as uh, working with the, the twenty thousand, it 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 sounds like quite a small number for an angel. Uh, but then again, the almost average hundred thousand. Uh, 80,000 plus minus, which is the average. So how do you see those uh, angels and super angels in Finland for somebody coming from outside to actually reaching? So uh, what is the typical investment? And as we can see, the median stake acquired is 1% to 2%, which sounds very small as well. So how, if you could just describe this kind of typical investment round which you see uh, in Finland. Well, it varies a lot uh, what kind of investments the uh, the uh, the angels make. Um, obviously, as as uh, just the, the numbers tell you, but uh, but I would say that uh, the uh, the typical investment round is is quite often the investment round is quite often so that the lead angel, so to speak, uh, invests uh, uh, let's say um, one third of a round, well, half of the round. So, so typically somewhere between uh, fifty to one hundred and fifty thousand, um, and then the rest is uh, is usually so that there are a couple of uh, bigger investments, and then uh, there might be some uh, smaller investments uh, of, uh, you know, twenty thousand, ten thousand, uh, even less than that. Uh, so that's typically how it works. Uh, that my experience uh, how it works, and. Uh, in a way, it's uh, it's uh, it's it's a good uh, way of of kind of like uh, looking at it because uh, if um, if the lead angel is uh, is the one who puts the biggest uh, ticket, then he or he or she obviously has the biggest interest to uh, to make the thing happen as well, and uh, and then uh, usually gathers the, uh, the the syndicate together, but uh, but also then obviously uh, uh, has the the biggest interest to. Uh, uh, to make sure that the company is, is successful, right. uh, but uh, but th that's typically uh, the uh, the first sort of a seed or pre-seed kind of a round. Right. Then when we go further, uh, and that's happening in Finland, it's uh, the same thing that is happening everywhere else in Europe. Uh, that uh, that angels are doing bigger and bigger rounds, like I'm doing, for example. You know, if we have uh, here in the numbers that uh, twenty thousand median round. I'm currently uh, doing a round with uh, 2.6 million, uh, and uh, and of that we have about uh, 1 million uh, uh, angel money. So so angels are starting to do bigger and bigger rounds. So a round is also a round that can be done entirely by angels, and. Uh, and there, of course, you know, you don't do 20,000 tickets. It's typically the minimum ticket is like 100,000 or 150,000, uh, perhaps. And, uh, and that's, for example, in the case that I, I just de described that the, I'm, I'm gathering at the moment, we have a minimum ticket of 100,000. So it really varies from a, from a kind of a state of the company. And, and obviously then 
you will have much more experienced uh, angels involved when you have um, when you go further in the uh, uh, the investment uh, uh, cycle. So you know it's uh, it's that way. Obviously, that uh, you can do small tickets in the seed, three seed rounds. Um, and um, and get involved, but uh, but typically, obviously, then uh, the uh, the round sizes will get bigger, and uh, the ticket sizes will get much bigger. Very good. Okay, we have one question from Rain here, uh, but uh, and let's let's go into that very soon. Just as a uh, as a highlight, as you mentioned, and, and the the valuation uh, and from the Nordic perspective, do you have international angels involved in your this one million angel uh, ticket uh, which you're now gathering? Uh, yes. Okay, so good. So you, you feel like that's... The, uh, I have most of the rounds that I have been involved. So for example, the, the round that I, uh, I gathered, uh, where I was a lead investor, the previous round that I, I was pre lead investor in, we had a, uh, uh, investors from Finland, uh, one is, um, uh, investor from Estonia and one investor from Singapore. And uh, in this current round that we are gathering, we we have uh, uh, we will have uh, investors from uh, different European countries. Okay, excellent. Well, well sounds and it uh, sounds like you build a. Do you know all the co-investors personally? So that's something you build a relations with. At the moment, let's see. The, uh, it's it's not yet a uh, full round, so let's see uh, who is coming uh, on board. So, but uh, but at the moment, I do know the the, the current investors personally. Yes. Very good. Uh, and maybe maybe as a highlight, as you're talking about the angels, so maybe you could just highlight from your perspective who are the main key angel investors in the Finnish ecosystem. Maybe some startup examples, just who's been receiving angel investment. Just uh, before we continue with the services and so on. What do you mean by the question? So, what what are the uh, the angel investors? What, you mean their backgrounds or no, no, just names for for somebody not knowing the Finnish angel ecosystem. Who are these kind of a key individuals who make a lot of media prof uh, visibility and maybe some startups that you associate with angel investments. Oh, who are the key individuals like yeah. uh, um, uh, persons in, in the yeah. Finnish yeah. Yes. Well, obviously, uh, there are the, uh, you know, the, uh, the people that, uh, for example, are well known in the, in the European context, uh, like Rick Wasikainen, uh, who is the uh, uh, the vice president of the um, um, the Eban uh, network, um, you know maybe Ari Korhonen who has done uh, quite a lot of cross border investments as well, um, and so forth. So just to name two, um, you know companies. Wow, uh, many companies uh, that that would be. Uh, uh, would be good examples. Uh, obviously, we had a, a very successful exit by uh, uh, by Angels as well, uh, a company called Framery, uh, just a couple of or, or some months ago, uh, earlier this year. Uh, company that makes this kind of uh, phone booths and uh, and so forth. So very un sort of a not traditional angel investment. Uh, company, so not not uh, like a software company or, or you know uh, that that sort. Um, we can take a look at uh, who has been awarded the uh, Business Angel of the yeah. Year award uh, for the past two years, and also the uh, uh, Exit of the Year. And uh, there we have as a as an um, exit maker, Ainomaya Harla. She's a, a top professional and, and actually also a professor in uh, the forestry industry. And uh, she's been investing, among other things, also in, in, in bio and, and, uh, and uh, food tech. And uh, she made a, a very nice exit from a, a company called Gold and Green. They have this very special nuhtakaura, pulled oats. So it's, it's, a, it's a vegetarian very special food that grew very rapidly was acquired and the exit was very very nice um, uh, at the business angel of the year the most recent business angel of the year was uh, Kim Väisänen who was actually yeah, uh, the, 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 the main investor in, in framery which Janne just mentioned 
so looking at the legacy of Finland with, with telecoms, uh, IT, etc., I think it's safe to say that there has been a, a quite a nice diversity, diversification. Some of the other key areas here now include uh, educational technology, where Janne actually is also, also active, uh, and we have food tech and, and, and uh, forestry and bio uh, to some extent as well, although they are the, the old cornerstones of, of, of Finnish uh, uh, business. Uh, but but um, it, it's been diversified quite nicely. And, and to round that off, I can note that if you look at all the different sectors when we do our, make our statistics, uh, there is really no particular sector which is like super strongly ahead of, of the others. It's, it's quite evenly distributed among different kinds of startups. That sounds like a positive culture. And the two examples just mentioned, they, they, they were not software companies in that sense, which the expectation would be. Correct. Uh, yeah. Maybe into that, uh, to uh, Hilo, because... Me, but I'm going to have to go now. Uh, so uh, if there was something like specifically for me, then we could maybe cover it now because I, I need to run then. Yes, that would maybe Rain's question here in the chat, which is uh, he's asking to highlight the, the service map, which you had on the previous slide for, for Radar. Uh, and, and just for, there's the, in the chat the, that uh, Rain is asking about the, that many of the angels invest in physical persons as opposed to invest uh, in a, through a holding company. Uh, what's the trend and reason when uh, one makes a choice, holding company or as a physical person? Mm. Mm, in Finland, it's it's not that uh, big of a difference actually between the two. If you make a lot of investments, uh, obviously it's uh, it's much more better to be in the uh, to have an investment uh, company, an investment vehicle where you can uh, sort of even out the uh, uh, the profits and the uh, uh, the uh, the problem companies. But uh, but it's not from a taxation point of view, it's uh, it's not a big deal. I would say, uh, from an experience, uh, probably half of uh, our angels uh, do investments through a company, and half would do directly as individuals. Okay, very good. And and if if I remember as well, one feedback questionnaire asked this, so it was exactly fifty fifty people investing through as individual or physical person or through a holding company. Yeah. And in that sense, because the taxation doesn't really support or against, so it depends. And when it comes to individual taxation, which Finland currently doesn't have any uh, deduction model for individuals to make from startup investments, like com compared to Norway or England, France. So uh, it's not a difference in that sense, how you do it. Yeah. But I think uh, more structurally gets, so I guess, uh, where would you say, where's the trend going, holding or physical? I don't, I, I would say it's going nowhere. It's, uh, I, I think it's, it's going to be, it's five years from now, I would see it uh, being very similar. Very good. Thank you so much for joining. Thank uh, you. Thank you. Pleasure. Okay, bye. I will continue with Radar. Have a good day. Thanks. Uh, great. And, and maybe here, Christine uh, asked about uh, if, if uh, funds talk about uh, uh, in, in larger or, or later. I'm, I assume it's later round. Do you talk about scale up? So, yes, uh, I assume that the scale up is just, a startup is the early stage, and a scale up, you have certain level of, of extent. So, it's definitely already with revenue and scaling up on this level. And that's the typical Nordic level. When the resources uh, are, are limited, then scaling up is even more challenging and that requires uh, extra much of, of going abroad. Uh, did that, Christina, answer your question? I think you highlighted that. Yeah, I can uh, just explain how, how you defined um, maybe within the groups uh, of uh, investors as well as uh, uh, how you meet the company, if you, if you divide them in, in rounds or you uh, have them called startups and, and scale-ups, it's more of that definition. Okay, uh, Reda, would you, you like you to... You mean if we make a distinction between the investments, that's what you're asking? Yes, exactly. So it's very clear to your, your network uh, if you're talking startup or scale-up. Definitely, definitely. Uh, I think the most concrete example of the, the how clearly aware and how, how important this distinction is to our members is the fact that as our uh, Pitch Finland events, which are our crown jewel, 
really in, in terms of, of events. We have these four big pitching events in the spring and four in the autumn. And we have anywhere from 70, 80 to 100, 110 members there uh, listening to 10, 11, 12 pitches. And typically these, of course, have been clearly from really early stage startups. In some cases, they just have slides. They're, they're presenting an idea. In some cases, they, they might already have a prototype, etc. But our members, were, during this first spring, during which I've been at FIBAN in the spring of 2018, um, and, and, and also last winter, there were individuals among our members who, who were saying, look, we, we also want these, these more mature companies. And, and now we've had uh, some of them pitching who have been, you know, operating already for a number of years and might even have some millions of euros in, in, in revenues. So, so in our minds and in our operations, this distinction is clear. It's important. And uh, they're talking about trends. Uh, I, I think there is clearly a, a trend gradually towards also investing into into companies which are, are, are further uh, in their already in their in their business. Um, looking at, at the, the the figures up up there now on on, on the, the slide, it's also important to note that uh, a number of these investments are of course not uh, in the seed or or, or 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 really early early first round, but some of these investments in this total. Uh, have been made obviously in, in in the upcoming rounds where our business angels want to continue investing in in these companies uh, but but uh, um, the scale ups are are, are then uh, a, a a different story altogether and typically they, they there are not a lot of scale ups in in these in these these figures yeah, maybe as a comment as well. So, so I would definitely like the, the pitching sessions. They are mainly for startups. And when you talk scale-ups, then you typically know the potential co-investors. So the value is the, the individuals you already know. But the scale-up as a number, whatever, there's, there should be a validated product or service already around. So, so reaching for, and, and yes. I would say that the difference is, is in millions. So, so they, they found their, their pattern, the process, the products, what is replicable, scalable, repeatable, and they focus on doing that as opposed, as opposed to innovating and structuring and figuring out what on earth are we making money with? Or how are we making money? The scale-up has figured all that out and is putting all the time and energy on repeating, 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 repeating that so that they can make money. Very good. Okay, so thank you. Let's, um, if you like, we, we cover now some of the main of the activities, services, who are the angels, some of the typical of what comes to group investing. Uh, something else you would have in mind, uh, Rita, you would like to highlight from the slides you have uh, uh, left? And that uh, not really, just, just, just checking here. Whether the, the, these are the, the, the key things that, that we typically talk about um, um regarding our organization talking here to to sisters and and, and brothers so to speak in other nordic countries uh it's it's worthwhile noting currently that uh, since our organization is, is seven years old now um the mode is shifting um f from being a, a in strong growth in a fa phase or period of, of strong growth we're actually during this autumn in the process of uh, uh, raising the bar for our membership. The membership criteria will, uh, during this uh, autumn, become increasingly strict and stringent. Um, and uh, currently, in our um, board meetings, uh, once a month approximately, uh, we approve five, six, seven, eight um, new members per, per, per meeting. Uh, based on applications where they need to have at least two uh, existing members as their as their uh, reference uh, without going into detail in this very brief overview um, I, I just want to highlight that, that, that this is one of the changes uh, that that we are we are go undergoing another key fact of course regarding FIBAN is that we now have a bigger office than ever it used to be just two people then two and a half in a sense almost three people two to three people over the past years. 
now we are five. There are five of us. And um, none of us who are working here at the office now have been working with or for FIBAN for even a year. Last September, then November, then January, then March, then May. Every odd month, we've undergone a change in, in personnel, uh, where, whereby people who have been working here have, have, have left and, and new, completely new people have been coming in. So, so we are going to make uh, quite a few changes in the structuring and, and processes of the of the FIBAN operations to make it make it sort of a, a, a running smoothly running machinery. And on that note, my, my, my final really important point here is is right now that uh, besides becoming a sort of a, a mature organization, we, we obviously want to be working on structuring things. So we, we are not really spending time here at the office coming up with ideas and, and new proposals, although some come up all the time because we have smart, creative people. But our task right now is mostly to say no and, and, and really, really create structure. Our members, other stakeholders in the ecosystem are coming up with ideas and proposals and suggestions and invitations constantly. And we can only participate and want to take part in only only some of some of them, not even all of them. So this is the mode we're in. I think this is very super important for everyone else uh, with whom we're collaborating to understand. Uh, our main project for this year is the IBAN Annual Congress, uh, IBAN Helsinki 2019. So if you don't have it in your calendar, you should absolutely right now enter into your calendars June 3rd and June 4th. It's a Monday and Tuesday in early June. Sunday, the 2nd of June, we will already have a pre-conference, really nice sauna and cruises in the archipelago and, and, and things like that. Then on Monday 3rd, Tuesday 4th, we'll have a really nice congress with super presentations from, among other people, people from your networks, because we are creating this, we are putting this together, together with you in the Nordic. We're, in our official invitation video, let's remember we invited people from Europe to the north, not to Finland, to the north. So hashtag New Nordics is very important for us. And I'm super glad for this webinar opportunity. Uh, Klaas Miko is doing super important work. Uh, we, we need really to, to, to collaborate very, very strongly. So you're warmly invited to, to give us proposals for that conference. And then on Wednesday 5th and Thursday the 6th of June, there is the fantastic Arctic 15 event in the same venue with the same stages etc so that will be an amazing week and i'm happy to tell you more at another point of time about the, all of that as well very good okay thank you very much and David, if you don't mind just putting your, your screen a little downer so we have the whole whole wonderful profile of yours now we just see the forehead of you as, as the, the the video camera is, oh, is that yes. the camera filming me all the time yes very good uh, and but, but excellent so so we have that uh, information of, of next spring so great stuff uh, of course from the Nordic perspective and, and one of the largest startup investor events in the world is slush held in November 3rd and 4th and there will be the investor day which is uh, the nickname Christmas for Angels. So you meet all the levels of co-investors and potential exit channels. And if I understood correctly, FIB and at with, with Nordic Band, there's some discount codes for those interested in joining over with the price of 545. So slush is definitely for angels. And I assume there's a special FIB and program side events related investor sauna and, and so on, if that's something will be highlighted and later on. So a good opportunity to, to join the Finnish startup and uh, Angel ecosystem as well. Very good. Okay, so uh, if there's any more questions, note that I can see. Uh, I think uh, just lastly, where do you see FIBAN going on now from now on with the digital era and people? What's what's the next step as, as a small but a massive question? Our website uh, has been uh, redone during the summer and it with uh, a completely new version will go up. Uh, in, in early uh, October with a new look and a new structure. Our uh, um, trainings, the Business Angel Academy, as I mentioned, is going to be fully online, both live streams as well as recorded videos and materials being available afterwards. Um, we are currently using Gust, but we are looking actively looking into replacing that with, with a more modern tool, hopefully enabling the investments being all digital. 
uh, and uh, we are also uh, in in the process of, of discussing our our digital operations more more widely. So so it 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 is very clear that 2018, 19, 20 will be will be days when our operations are increasingly digital. We, that that's besides internationalization, whereby we get investments into Finland and out of Finland to other countries. This is another cornerstone of, of, of enabling uh, us to, to, to really enter the modern era of business angel investing. Very good. Okay, digital investing. So that gives opportunity for those outside Finland to join as well potential and maybe to just get that dating links on board. So maybe joining FIBAN or, or these events. So that's a good opportunity of, of yeah, the global... Yeah, and, and, and uh, let's not forget that the Nordic Angel Program, NAP, Running obviously in, in in multiple networks all over the the, the Nordic New Nordic region, uh, it already has made this reality. And and at Slush and also at Arctic 15, of course, uh, business angels are co-investing, uh, not just listening to beautiful pitches, looking at pretty people with pretty slides, but doing actual, real, genuine investing together thanks to digital platforms. So that's, that's I think, it's an inspiring uh, example of what we're, what we're looking at. It, it's, it's really, really happening now. Perfect. Great ending. So, so, so the Nordic Angel Program, uh, if I understood that, was feeband.org slash NAP. That's the, the Finnish startup investment ecosystem. So cross-border investment with uh, the opportunity to, to have a lead investor and uh, get the best trainings included for this fall batch and ending at slush. So, so that sounds great. And, and of course, from the Nordic Band, it's uh, nordicangelprogram.com includes all the four countries that's currently available for them. Thank you so much, Radar. Thank you for Thank those you, uh, listening. And, and for those watching this on later states, then more information can be found from feeband.org or, or, of course, on the Nordic Baltic level, nordicband.net is all yours to help out. And hopefully we can have more investors finding each other and then again helping the startup ecosystem and new companies emerge and grow with these uh, growth resources. Thank, Thank you. you very much for excellent work, Plus, Miko. Great. Let's have a good day, everybody, and I will Great. end the... Uh... Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Have Thank a good you. day. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye. Take care, Ray, Darren, Klaus, and everyone. And you too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.